It's Interstate 81, go with the tunnel. That's the argument being made this evening by a group of town supervisors. Nearly a decade into the debate over how to replace the aging elevated highway, we are told all 19 supervisors in Onondaga County are against the community grid, a network of local roads. But as News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan shows us, eight are going the extra mile to make their argument. Eight town supervisors representing 15 total with one message a tunnel should replace Interstate 81. We don't feel that uh, DOT is really hearing Central New York's message. Let's do it right. Let's be progressive. Let's do something to be proud of. You know, if everybody thinks we did it wrong 60 years ago, then let's do it right this time. Arguing it's the best of both worlds, I-81 will stay on its current path, but underground. On top, a network of local roads. It's the most expensive option, estimated at almost $4 billion. As for cost, as I said, we're worth it. We're worth every penny of it. All right? And we need to let... Uh, uh, the federal government, the state government, DOT, and everyone else know that. Even the towns that don't have the 81 highway running through them have a vested interest in this decision. DeWitt, for example, if Interstate 81 comes down in favor for a boulevard, highway traffic will be diverted to Interstate 481. It already backs up now. If you put another 40, 50,000 cars a day at times on 481, uh, you know, should we make it? 15 lanes in front of Wegmans on East Genesee Street? I don't, there is no solution. There's a big environmental concern just in the lake itself, let alone our small communities in the southern section of the, of the county will have a huge impact with that type of traffic coming through our villages. A divisive debate nearing its next mile. In Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. Now, while the town supervisors are unifying one side of the debate, it might uh, further divide them from the mayor of Syracuse, who has another preference for I-81. We're going to hear from him tonight on News Channel 9 at 6.